Hey guys, PowerFam. I'm making a short video for YouTube because we haven't seen each other for so long. So it took some time for me to recover here. I was um, taking out the wisdom teeth and after that I was fully knocked out and I even got a fever and everything and yeah i had to recover a lot and now i'm slowly coming back getting my energy back and yeah this is what i wish to share with you with all of us together here right now in our present moment of the heart in our true home nowhere else we ever are we never come from or we never go to and uh, it is only up to every single piece of us to remember that and to realize that so to jump back into our full heart unity of the core our true source energy awareness flow here right now all together and as one and of course as long as we are disconnected from that we are fighting against it, we are acting against it, uh, we are hateful, blaming others, um, unhappy, unsatisfied, unfulfilled. We are in a constant running state of the mind outside, machine robot, thinking into past and future. So really being everywhere in the dream, but not here right now in our true reality. The reality is that what we can never dream. It is the truth of what we express out from within our source energy core as the meaning of every single piece for all of our other pieces in order to be together and as one here right now. And this is the truth, this is the reality that is uh, our source energy all about. There is never anything ever else. That's our infinite source truth. And it is uh, important that we remember that, that we connect back to our true source energy core within us, from where we are all the pieces from, the fractals, the light awareness cells of that one core energy being deep inside of all of us and we are experiencing that life on the outer shell on the light reflection mirror that is that you can visualize like a bubble around our source energy core and on that light bubble shell for our true self source reflection experience that we make on that light bubble outside that many of us also are calling God or the projection of source or the demiurge, like the, the alpha layer of that matrix creation. Uh, right now we are experiencing that life on the secondary layer, not on the alpha layer anymore. So we have created a secondary matrix layer which is that white astral light experience. It's like the outside of the outside and the inside of the outside. That's then the black ether space reality of the sun. And yes, but right now we are in the secondary layer that is uh, on the Saturn, on the six dimensional um, astral, lower astral world. So really like six dimensional lower astral world, the seven um, the seven dimension is then the higher astral that connects the, the lower and the, the ether and from eight and up we having then our ether space reality. From there is that thunder and lightning coming from which is then creating that color and sound spectrum for us in the outside that we can then experience here in, on Saturn. And as long as we are trapped 
and the mind even lower below the sixth dimensional Saturn and that is the purple light the 70 is the pink light so the 8 is the white light the oxygen and the um, 9 D the Sun is the hydrogen is the black light ether space reality and below the six dimensional purple Saturn lower astral world we still have that five dimensional um, now moment which is then the blue light which is then only the the higher uh, electromagnetic wavelength of uh, energy and that is then so imagine like every layer splits up again into two halves and that is like a lower and a higher half and when we split up for example um, the six dimensional Saturn lower astral world this is then the red and the blue shift or this is then the split into the higher wavelength uh, the blue light and the lower the red light and in between of that we seeing then the other colors the orange the yellow and the green which are then in between zones of that lower astral world so from the complete between the complete bottom of frequency and dimension and the six dimensional purple astral saturn world and the saturn that's then it, it, the saturn and the sun is a, is like exactly that split of the demiurge the demiurge um, splits then into the the positive and the negative or the the higher and the lower and that's then that lucifer and ariman split so first we have our true source energy then we have the projection of source that's the the demiurge that's the light the out from the alpha matrix the the first entity created which is then like the the father the god of of all of the other split dimensions and down layers of of the matrix and there's another split then of the demiurge into the uh, lucifer and ariman and yes these are then the, the positive and the negative side so first we have a true source energy core then we have the god uh, demiurge's uh, light and then we have the um, another split into that lucifer and ariman and then the ariman again splits uh, itself into the um, blue and red shift that we experience here as the as the up and down or as the higher and lower or as the sky as the blue light and um, as the red uh, light uh, the ground like really the, the bottom of it and in this video I really just wish to say like um, it's very difficult right now in these times to remember that back and to connect fully back to our true source energy core within to get like the the energy connection rope back and um, through all of these layers and dimensions and totally beyond the light spectrum and so we are we are really being guided from within our one source energy core and not um, living a separated um, ego shell experience outside in a person avatar body mind and the reason why it is so difficult to connect back in these times is because there is extremely much confusion going on in the outside um, especially in the internet right now it is full of traps the, the biggest traps um, are the ascension rope uh, road the higher self the ascended masters realm the kundalini awakening and all of these um, are extremely heavy 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 soul traps 
because all of these realms is the same realm and that's the eight sphere that's the the garbage of the universe uh, that's in the 4d and the four dimensional spectrum created um, by the moon the saturn and the sun and also very deeply connected with the mars so could also say like the moon mars and the saturn um, they are creating that eight sphere that is um, the underworld that's the abyss that is that um, what keeps us away from making the jump into the 5d heart moment present moment here right now and there are all of the that is also the shadow of humanity and the shadow where our subconscious shadow minds are um, connected to and creating um, by the thought patterns running subconsciously and by that we are creating all of that shadow entities in that realm so all of the created shadow entities they are living exactly in that eight sphere so that is the realm where the entities the shadow the demons and all of them are um, living and when we are connecting to higher self ascension road kundalini awakening or any of these um, soul traps we are actually connecting to that eight sphere realm to the entities to the shadow to the demons and um, when we not care enough we're getting um, possessed um, for, for all of the people who are making um, channeled m m messaging or channeling they are all channeling these demons and these entities um, and this realm are also living uh, witches and other uh, entities also all of the sexual energy draw draining entities and so much more and yes when we are for example through meditation or through kundalini awakening um, ascending we are exactly going into that eight sphere and that eight sphere is in the lower astral it's in the 4d so it is right before the 5d starts and it is that selection process for all of our pieces which are not strong enough to jump make the jump into the heart into the 5d present moment so they are um, getting harvested off there from the entities and they are surrendering their energies of the soul their souls they are surrendering them fully and completely to the matrix to the demiurge's um, s uh, control system of the mind and by that they are keeping that matrix alive and the entities and the the positive thing or there is no positive and negative but the that what is then the balance in the end within sources that all of these pieces fractals which are surrendering surrendering their energies and giving that up in the end we other pieces which are connected and which win that life game we are getting gaining their energy so we can grow and, and expand in our source awareness energy cell and they are then gone because there is no other way to grow and expand because source is always the same size nothing ever comes uh, to source or goes away it's always the same thing only the cells within source which are you and me can die for others to then live and grow and this is how the whole uh, game within source works yes and that life experience is a big selection process of that so be aware of these soul traps in the modern times which are um, going around on the internet and also especially on the youtube take care connect back uh, find your inner uh, source truth and um, this is all what it is about so thank you so much for listening wish you wonderful um, game and win so take care program
See you in the next video.